Look at this chart. I know what I know, but I'm trying to explain it, okay? How does this connect? How does that, how, what do you mean, these, things, these lines? How do these lines work here, okay? And that's a little bit, uh, it, it's hard. And, and we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it, but I got to slow down, and I've got I've to go ahead and back up a little bit, and I'm going to take it one step at a time and make sure everybody who's with us understands the first step first. First things first, okay? So here we are with the chapters of tribulation. These are the chapters that actually talk about the three and a half year period. These are the chapters we're focused on right now, right? Right here, one, two, three. The, that's all we're at. Out of 22 chapters of the book of Revelation, out of 14 chapters in the middle seals division, out of 14 chapters, we're looking at three chapters right now. Some of the most complicated chapters and how that three and a half year period works, because it calls it different names. I mean, no one, first of all, it's not even the same name for the same time period. That, that is mind blowing. Why would God do that? Why is God calling the same time period three different things? So this is where we're at, okay? We're looking at a 42 month period. We're looking at a 1260 day period. And we're looking at something called a time, times, and half a time, which is a three and a half year period as well. And you can see, uh, the seven at the bottom represents where that seventh trumpet's going to blow, okay? That means we're going to be here for the three and a half years. That means the three and a half year period is for the elect. And so, and by the time, you know, we're, we're looking at that, this is what we're going to try to understand how everything connects. At, at some point, I'd like you to understand why is Revelation 11 got a line going to 42 months and a line going to 1260 days. And you'll be able to answer that when we're done. You're going to be go, you're going to be able to, you're going to say to yourself, well, because Revelation 11 talks about uh, the 42 months that the Gentiles are given power to trample down the temple and the two witnesses are given protection, power of protection for 42 months. You're going to know for, um, for 1260 days, the witnesses are protected with power for 1260 days. You're going to know that it's going to click. You're going to go, yeah, Revelation 11 talks about both time periods because, because uh, you're going to know why God's calling the same time period, two different names. You're going to understand all that by the time we're done, okay? You're going to know why Revelation 13 has a line going uh, from, from, uh, from Revelation 13 goes all the way up to 42 months. You're going to know that the Antichrist in Revelation 13 is given power for 42 months. And what does that have to do with anything? And you're going to know that it's connected to a time, times, and half a time down here and you're going to understand, oh, that's, that, that's the war with the saints that Daniel talks about. And it goes all the way over here to Daniel. So it connects to Daniel. And you're going to know that's why these lines are lining up. And then you're going to, it, it's all going to make sense eventually. So let's, let's take a look at this other thing that the Lord has given me. This is a big helper right here. I finally just said, what am I trying to do here? I said, what am I trying to connect? I said, there's got to be a simpler way. And then, then I got this right here. So See this mess right here? See this complicated web? I said, this is too complicated. How can I make this simple? And I said, it's really, it's really boiling down to this. There's just four connections that we have to understand. Okay? And we're going to take it one at a time so that you all are with me on this. And you're not just scratching your head going, man, that's, just, that's making me dizzy there. You know, that's, I just, uh, that's too much. Last week, I tried to spoon feed you with a shovel last week. So we're going to, this is the connections that we're making. Okay. Number one, we have to connect a time, times, and half a time to the war with the saints. And when we understand the book of Daniel talking about a time, times, and half a time over here in Daniel chapter seven and 12, down the bottom left, and we see the first box on the right side of time, times, and half a time. This is the very first thing we need to understand about the three and a half year period, about the name, a time, times, and half a time. It all has to begin right there. Okay, so that's the first thing is we have to connect that that phrase a time times and half a time to the war with the saints and we'll see the war with the saints in the book of Daniel. We'll see the war with the saints in the book of Revelation and we're going to connect those together and we're going to see the term time times and half a time in the book of Daniel and we're going to see that same term in the book of Revelation and we're connecting everything together. That's the first thing we have to connect guys the very first thing. Okay. The second thing is I have to connect 1260 days to a time times and half a time. So we have to connect that 
next. And so that's the next thing we have to connect. And then we have to connect 42 months to the war with the saints because now we're looking at the term 42 months. How does that connect with the war? And then we have to connect the 42 months and the 160 days together. So I, I don't know if you're with me or not, but these were the steps that I needed to take so that this right here makes sense. Okay, you're with me, guys? Are you with me? So here's the first connection. Let's take a look at this. Connection number one. Now check this out. See if this makes sense. Okay. So out of all these connections, I said, let's go one at a time and make this thing make sense right here. Okay, let's do it. First connection, a time, times, and half a time connected to the war with the saints. We're going to go over the scriptures later, but I just did this real quickly. Here we go. Look, a time, times, and half a time in Daniel and a time, times, and half a time in the book of Revelation connects to the war, a war with the saints in chapter 12, chapter 13, and chapter 14. Chapter 12, chapter 13, chapter 12 and chapter 13 talk about a war with the saints. And so does Daniel 7 and Daniel 12. It's the same war. Chapter 12 talks about a war. Chapter 13 talks about a war and Daniel talks about a war. Okay. So there you go. And they're connected to this phrase. A time, times, and half a time. They're all connected to the same phrase. Let me ask you something. Do you think for one second that Revelation 12, Revelation 13, and Daniel are talking about three different wars at three different times? Or is it more sensible and more reasonable that this is the same time period? What do you think? Same time period or different? Because if you think that Revelation 12, when it talks about the war with the saints and you think, and then you read in Revelation 13, there's a war with the saints. And then you go into the old Testament and there's a war with the saints. And you know, it makes perfect sense that these are talking about the same time period. So that's the first connection. Once we got these three lines drawn here, everything else builds. Remember how we build on hermeneutics. We build on, uh, Exe exegetical study, exegesis, exegesis, what we're reading in the scriptures, not what we're imagining, not what we're speculating. This is scientifically observable and studyable. These three wars are the same war. Okay, let's continue. Now, the second connection was this. We've got to connect 1260 days to that 12, to, to that time, times and half a time. So how does 1260 connect to this We've already got this figured out. We've got, this is something you have to, this is the first thing we're going to do today. I'm going to, this is, this is really the Bible study is going to go and back to this. And then we're going to read the chapters. And then next week, we're going to get into this part, but I'm just going over it real quickly today. I'm not trying to get too detailed about this second connection here, but I'm going to show you real quickly. This is our focus for today in just a moment when I get through this preliminary uh, quick review. This is where we're going. This is what we're going to look at. Okay. This is the second part for next week, perhaps, if I don't get to it today, but in the future, the second connection is we're going to have to connect the 1260 to a time, times, and half a time. How does that work? Well, we already built this connection. So when we read chapter 12, we read about a war with the saints, and we read about some people being protected for 1260 days during that war. Some are not, some are. Okay, that's the interesting thing about chapter 12. There's two different groups. Some are protected during that three and a half year period. Some are not. This is what we read and what we study. This is not what Jack Van Empey and Hal Lindsey and the people are, you know, tell, if you want to know what's going on, read it yourself. So chapter 12 actually says, a time, times, and half a time, and it actually says 1260 days. It uses both phrases in the same chapter for the same time period. So there's your connection right there. Now, I don't know if we're going to get into that yet today. We might get into that today because this is our focus for today. I want to make sure you understand that these, these uh, chapters and the time, times, and half a time all connect to that war. So that's my main focus with you today. So what we're learning here about, about this connection is extra. And now maybe it may be too much for, for us. So we can see that 1260 days is the same time period as a time times and half a time when we read chapter 12 right there. When we study chapter 12, boom, there's your connection to 1260 days. Connects it directly to a time time. There's your major connection here. This is, this is absolutely the most fundamental connection 
to tie all these uh, terms together into, into the same time period. Once you've concluded that these are all talking about the same time period, and then you see the connection with chapter 12, that it's going to start just making sense that, hey, this is all the same time period. So I'm giving you a preliminary on it, okay? The third connection, which we're not going to get to today, but I'm just giving you a brief overview. I'm going to go over this every week, all these four connections every week, and I'm going to go over one connection a week until we get through all four connections. Okay, so here's the third one. 42 months connects to the War of Saints. So here's where we're at. Now we got to connect the 42 months to this. Revelation 13 talks about a war with the saints, and it calls that time period what? 42 months. A very important connection to the foundation of this time period that we're talking about. So it calls that same time period a war with the saints. It calls it 42 months. Again, once you establish this, once you establish that right there, anything that connects to those chapters and talks about a three and a half year time period is talking about the same three and a half year time period. So we see in Revelation 13, there's a war with the saints. It doesn't use the term 40, it doesn't use the term 1260 days. It doesn't use the term a time times and half a time, but it does talk about a war with the saints. The same war with the saints that Revelation 12 and Daniel 7 and 12 talk about. It's the same war. So if it is the same war, we've established that, which is are going to be our first priority this week is to establish that again. And that's what we're going to, we're going to really focus on that. Then the war with the saints in Revelation 13, even though it's calling that time period 42 months, has to be the same time period. Are you with me? Are you guys with me on that? Okay? It's, it's calling it 42 months. The same war with the saints, it's calling it 42 months in Revelation 13. Okay? So these two, these two terms, these two terms, Revelation 40, uh, these two terms that we see in Revelation 12 and Revelation 13, these two terms, 42 months and 1260 days, we're going to show and prove eventually that they are the same time period as a time times and half a time because they're talking about the same war. That's your key. That's your trick. That's your clue. Okay. So it says 1260 days and 42 months, both directly tie into the war with the saints and a time times and half a time. Also, we will notice a distinction in terms we're going to learn why God's doing this. Why is God calling it 42 months and not, and not uh, the other term? Why is he calling it 1260 days and, and not 40? Why is he using all these different terms? More on that later. You're going to learn that in just, in just a little while. Eventually, you're going to learn that. Now, power, the reason, I'll give you a little briefing on this. Notice this in Revelation 11 and in Revelation 13. Look at this. Look at this. Power this is a clue. Look what it says in Revelation 11. I will give power to my witnesses and they'll be protected. I will give power to my witnesses and they will be protected. Look at that. For three and a half years. Look, a thousand, a thousand, two hundred and three score days. That's three and a half years. Now look at this. I will give power to the Antichrist. And we, when we read it, we're going to read it later in detail. Revelation 13. I will give power to my, to, to, for how long? 42 months, 42 months is, I'm just going to briefly tell you right now, 42 months is power to the antichrist. 1260 days is power or protection to the elect. This is the reason why God chooses in his arbitrary sovereign capacity to call that same time period, different terms when he's relating to different people. You guys with me out there? Is anybody watching this? Is anybody paying attention? You see what I'm saying? Look what it says. Same. I will give power was given unto him, the Antichrist, for 42 months. I will give power to my two witnesses. Now look at the two different terms he's using. Who is he referring to? Who is he referring to? If he's referring to the wicked, he calls it 42 months. If he's referring to the righteous, he calls it 1260 days. Right? Okay. It's the same time period. Same time period. Now, we got the... More about this later. Okay, this is what we're building on. This is what we're going to learn today. Next week, we're going to learn this a little bit more about these two connections. But this week, we're going to focus right here. We're going to make sure we understand that war with the saints 
and a time times and half a time. That's what we're looking at. Is there another connection? Okay, there is a fourth connection. 42 months, and how do they connect? How do those two terms that we just discovered, we see that they connect to the war with the saints. We see that they connect to the war with the saints in a time, times, and half a time, but how do they connect together? Because we don't see them connected together yet. They both connect in Revelation 11. Isn't that interesting? Revelation 11 is the only chapter that mentions both 42 months and 1260 days uniquely. So we, when we see, we see that God's protecting the two witnesses while he's letting the Gentiles have power to trample down the temple. So both terms have to be used because God's referring to, to both groups independently and separately. So now we see this connection here and that we're going to get to that eventually. And then once we make this connection here, <clears throat> once you see in Revelation 11, hey, this has got to be the same time period. These last 42 months and 1260 days instantly connects to Daniel down at the bottom at a time, times, and half a time. It's, it's too coincidental that all this stuff is talking about the same time period to not take it all the way back to a time, times, and half a time. So Revelation 11, even though it doesn't talk about a time, times, and half a time, it does connect into intelligently and discerningly back down to everything else. Because that's where we started. That's the same time period we're looking at. And it just makes perfect sense uh, perfect green light sense that that is the same time period. So that's where we're eventually going to, uh, by the time we're done with this, the next few weeks, you're going to understand all this a lot better. Everything inevitably connects to the same three and a half year great tribulation period. Everything connects to a time times and half a time and the war against the saints. Let's get into our first part one. Now, this is the focal point of this week. This is where we're at today. Okay, the first thing we're studying about the Great Tribulation Hour, chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, is all about this time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, and the prophecies of Jesus, talking about a time of trouble. And we see these terms that are mentioned right here. These are the terms that are mentioned. 1260, 42 months, and a time, times, and half a time. Are they the same time period? That's what we're trying to prove, and we will prove it. And some important keys to understand about this is, again, if you don't understand a time, times, and half a time, none of this is going to make sense. So we've got to be crystal clear on what that is without any doubt, okay? The second thing is the war against the saints, okay? The war against the saints is absolutely crucial in the book of Daniel and in Revelation, and it's called a time, times, and half a times, and we've got to be crystal clear in our understanding that that is indeed the same time period that's, that's being mentioned there. Also, what we're going to learn about is protection and persecution. Protection and persecution. How do they relate in, uh, in this time period? Who's being persecuted? Who's being protected? How long does protection last? And those concepts are essential to figuring out with clarity what's going on in this great tribulation period. So we're looking at important keys to understand. And protection and persecution are very important concepts during this time to understand. Number four, how God uses the different terms for the same three and a half year period, depending on who he's referring to. We have already talked about that, but I just want to show you the key points that we have to understand in line here, in a list here, that we're going to continue focusing on. This is an important key. Nobody has ever explained this to me. Out of all the years that I've studied the book of Revelation, nobody has pointed this out. And I was on a jog one day listening to chapter 11, and it hit me like a lightning bolt. And I got home, and I immediately looked everything up, and I, and I could see clearly that God chooses to use different terms for the same time period, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. So I say thank you, Lord, for that. I've never seen anybody explain this to me. This is a very important piece to the puzzle, okay? Now, and then how everything connects to the same time period. So that's really not a, a key, but let's continue. We've already talked that there are four different time connections. There are four different connections that we need to make, and we just went through them one at a time, so we don't need to do that again. We're going to do the first one here, okay? We're going to connect the first one today, and that's all we're going to do. Part one, and we're going to end our book of Revelation study for the week after you know for sure this connection here without a doubt, okay? 
Part one is all about a time, times, and half a time connecting with the war with the saints. Okay? Let's start and tie these together. Book of Daniel. How long shall it be, he asks, in the book of Daniel? How long shall it be to the end? A key, a key scripture in this whole thing that you have to build upon. See, we're building on the scriptures properly. Okay? So what do we see that at? Right here in Daniel chapter 12, verse 6. Interesting, 12, verse 6. In Revelation 12, verse 6, what do we see? I, I, I'm interested, just quickly, i am kind of got my curiosity up here. <laughs> Let me go look real quick. Revelation 12, verse 6, I'm just curious. Ah, she fled into the wilderness. Ah, isn't that interesting? Okay, what happens in, look at that, guys. Give me a seven if you, if you think that's a fascinating coincidence. Coinky dink. Look at that, look at that. Revelation chapter 12, verse 6. Look what it says in Revelation 12, verse 6. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she was protected for 1260 days. What is Daniel? <laughs> Let's look it up. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Daniel 12, verse 6. How long shall it be until these things end? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the Lord just gives me like, I, I just, I think that the Lord has really got me doing this for the, for this generation and for this time period. I'm not, I'm not special. I'm not, I'm no one. I, I, I don't even know if I'm going to go to heaven sometimes. I'm depressed. I got problems, man. I'm not claiming to be some prophet or nothing, but just, and I think we all can get this. I, I think we all, if we, if we, um, I think everybody could have the same, the same thing. I, I, I don't think I was, I was, uh. Over there a second ago thinking, you know, am I special? Am I different? And I said, don't even go down that path. Don't even start thinking that way. Do not. Don't even entertain that. And I said, no, I think everybody can have this. Everybody can get the same understanding with God, the same connection with God. I'm not special. I'm not different. So don't, don't get me wrong. But this happens to me a lot. <laughs> praise God. I just praise God for it. It's all I'm excited about it. And I'm boasting in the Lord, boasting in the Lord, praising God for it. You know, I, I just thank God for it. Okay. So I'm not I'm not trying to come off wrong here, but here we go. Immediately in my brain, I'm like, 12, 6, that sounds familiar. Daniel 12, 6 sounds familiar. What, what does Revelation 12, 6 say? And lo and behold, Daniel's asking how long till the end. We're talking about the same three and a half year period. And Revelation 12, 6 gives us the time. Same time period. Okay, so back over here. Back over here to uh, how long. Daniel 12 tells us how long shall it be. And we see the time right here. A time, times, and half a time. That's how long. That's how long. How long is the woman in the wilderness? 1260 days. Is that two different time periods? No, it's not. It's the same time period. Okay. Why is God calling it two different names? That's what you got to figure out. That's what we're figuring out. And God's showing us why he's doing that. There's a reason why God's doing that. And if you don't understand that reason, you're not going to believe these are the same time period. But if you do understand why God's doing it, it makes perfect sense why he's calling them different names. And this is one of the things that we don't get very often when we're studying the book of Revelation, some of these pieces. Okay, so there's your time. Okay, a time's time and half a time in the book of Daniel. And a time, times, and half a time in chapter 12. And chapter 7, both talk about a time, times, and half a time. How long shall it be? Three and a half years. Okay, now we cannot mistake. Now that's in the book of Daniel. What about the book of Revelation? What about the book of Revelation? Well, Revelation 12. Revelation 12 is the connecting chapter, by the way. Revelation 12 is what connects us from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Revelation 12 is essential. Maybe that's why God picked Revelation 12 to go all the way back to the gen Genesis moment where the enmity between the dragon and the woman began because Revelation 12 brings us back into the Old Testament. Revelation 12 gives us uh, the connection point from Daniel's prophecies to John's prophecies, and it's very important. So there's a part in Revelation 12 that mentioned, I just showed you the 1260 days. We're going to get to that later. But in Revelation 12, it also says a time, times, and half a time. Now, is this a different time, times, and half a time than Daniel's talking about? Of course not. 
It's the same time period. If you don't think these are the same time period, you're never going to get it right. Never in a million years. Okay? Daniel and John have been shown the last three and a half years before the seventh trumpet blows. And that's where we're going. With it. It's the most sense. It makes the most sense. So that's what we believe. Okay, so here we go. On the left of the chapters, on the right, are the terms that God uses to describe the three and a half year period. Here's all the connections that we're eventually going to understand and make. Let's see what we've connected so far. Okay, so far we've connected a time, times, and half a time in Daniel to Revelation chapter 12. That's it. That's all we've done so far. Everybody with me? That nobody should be confused or lost at this point. <laughs> I'm not going to go fast. I'm going to go slow. In fact, I want you guys begging me. Come, can we move on? I mean, we got it already. I mean, I, I, that's what I want, you guys. This is very complicated. So when you guys know this so well that you're telling me to let's go to the next phase, I'll go to the next phase. But right now, <laughs> okay, okay. We got some sevens out there. Good, good. So that's what we've connected so far. Let's continue. Next, next, we need to study the war against the saints. All we saw was a time, times, and half a time so far. So that's all the connection that we could do. Now we're going to go a little further, and we're going to bring in this war that's talked about. What is this war? How long is this war? Who is it for? When does it take place? We're going to answer those questions. All right? We will see that the war against the saints connects directly to Revelation 12 and Revelation 13 and to Daniel and to a time, times, and half a time. We're going to see this connection here. Where a time, times, and half a time connects to Revelation 13 by the same war. We haven't gotten into the war yet, but we're going to see how that brings in Revelation chapter 13. And eventually, you'll know that the war, the war that we're going to learn about is what brings in Revelation 13. That's how Revelation 13 is relevant to a time, times, and half a time, because Revelation 13 does not mention the term times and times and half a time. It only mentions 42 months. But we have to bring it in. Somehow it's connected. And how is it connected? Through the war that we're going to learn about. Okay? So all this will be connected. Revelation 12, Revelation 13, and Daniel. They'll all be connected. And so the war with the saints and a time, times, and half a times will also be connected. All this is what we're going to learn today. This is what I want you to memorize and understand but before we go any further. Okay, because this I'm going to drill this into your hearts today. So let's examine the war against the saints. Here we go. First in the book of Daniel. Now you'll notice we're at the same chapters, aren't we? We're at Daniel chapter 7 and Daniel chapter 12. We haven't gone anywhere else because the time, times, and half a time is specifically about a war with the saints. When you think of a time, times, and half a times, I want you to think of two things. I want you to think of a war against the saints, and I want you to think of protection also. Both are happening at the same time. We're going to see that in a very special chapter, Revelation 12, and that gives us the heart of understanding this. But right now, we need to see this war. First, the war. We're going back to Daniel, and we're reading about a war with the saints. The Antichrist prevailed against them. He's going to wear them out. Revelation 7. He's going to wear out the saints. And Revelation 12. To scatter the power of the holy people. And how long shall it be until the end? I need, I need to actually. Uh, let me add that here. This is a great place. Revel uh, verse 44. Let me uh, scoot up here for a minute and grab that if I can. How long shall it be? But let's put that on 44. That'll be a good place to interject that. Slide 44. Yeah, there you go. So we're, we're looking at these wars here. War with the saints. Wear out the saints. Scatter the power of the holy people. And remember, we're, we're finding out how long is this going to go on? Amen? You're with me? How long shall it be? Right? This is all about how long is this time of great trouble that Daniel talks about in Revelation chapter 12. And remember, we're in Revelation 12. As a matter of fact, it might not be a bad idea 
to jump over to Revelation, uh, Daniel 12, sorry, Daniel 12, and go to the top and remind you what Daniel 12 is about. Look what Daniel 12 is about. At that time, what time? How long shall it be? At the time of the end, in the latter moment, in the great tribulation hour, that's what this is talking about. Michael will stand up and a time of trouble is going to come. War with the saints, scatter the power of the holy people, and a time of wearing out the saints, right? And so that's what we're talking about here in Daniel chapter 12. That's how the chapter starts off. And so Daniel chapter 12, he's asking them, how long shall it be? Because that's the time. How long shall it be? Here, we see how a time, times, and half a time is connected to making war with the saints in the book of Daniel. Okay? So that's in here. A time, times, and half a time. It's in these chapters. A time, times, and half a time is right there. A dividing of time. Okay. So we're asking, this is the war with the saints in the book of Daniel. War with the saints. War with the saints. How long shall it be? Same passage. Talks about a time, times, and half a time. That's how long this war with the saints is going to be. That's basically why this term is used in the book of Daniel. Okay, so we see the connection. There's no doubt about it. Now, what about the book of Revelation? That's the book of Daniel. We see a war with the saints. We see it's going to last three and a half years, right? That's the book of Daniel. Now we're going to look at the book of Revelation. Chapter 12, we're reading about this dragon coming down to persecute the woman. He's persecuting the woman. That's war with the saints. We see in Revelation 12, 17, it says to make war with the remnant of her seed. And how long is this time period, Daniel asks? How long? A time, times, and half a time we read about. How long shall it be? Boom. A time, times, and half a time, it says right there. Okay, so war with the saints. See the same war. We see another, a persecution of the righteous. And it says right here, as plain as day, to make war with the remnant of her seed. Revelation 12, 17. And you see the term, Revelation 14, a time, times, and half a time. Same language. Is this a different time period? Is this a different war? No. It's the same time period and the same war. Hallelujah. Revelation 13, we just saw making war with the saints. Revelation 12 and Revelation 13, both talk about a war with the saints. Revelation 12, to make war with the remnant of her seed. Revelation 13, to make war with the saints. Revelation 12, Revelation 13, both talk about the war with the saints, okay? And persecuted the woman, okay? So we have war with the saints, war with the saints, a time, times, and half a time, okay? Wear out the saints. In book of Daniel, here's the book of Daniel, war, 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 a time, times, and half a time. Book of Daniel, the book of Revelation, the book of Daniel, the book of Revelation, same thing. Here we are side by side, the book of Daniel on the left, book of Revelation on the right. Here's all the persecuted scriptures. Is this the same time period or is these all different time periods? Of course they're the same time period. What about, the, what about this term, a time, times, and half a time that we see in all these passages? Is this the same time period or is these all different? No, they're the same. They're the same time period. So we can see Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 13, Daniel chapter 7, Daniel chapter 12, all connect to a time, times, and half a time. Revelation 12, 13, and Daniel all talk about a war with the saints. Okay? So all this connects. Revelation 12, Revelation 13, the book of Daniel, the war with the saints, and a time, times, and half a time. That's where we're at today. The connections in part one, that's what we're doing today. This is all we're doing today. We're going to make sure you understand the three and a half year period called a time, times, and half a time connects to the Old Testament and the New Testament prophecies. It connects the Old Testament. This one term here, a time, times, and half a time, this one term connects the Old Testament and New Testament prophecies concerning the great tribulation hour. Okay? And the war against the saints is the key chemistry it's the key ingredient to understanding that we are indeed talking about the great time of trouble because he's talking to the elect. The elect are going to have trouble. If you're part of the world, you're not going to have trouble until Jesus comes back. But if you're part of Christ, the trouble comes during the great tribulation. The world's not going to have tribulation too much. Well, they will. The, the trumpets are going to just devastate everybody. There's going to be starvation. That's going to drive people to repent, though. 
You see, the Bible says they're not going to hurt the wine and the oil. There's going to be rich people who are not feeling anything until God sends the fifth trumpet and then, you know, the scorpions sting them. I guess I just need to think about what I'm saying here a little bit more. They're going to feel the pinch, no doubt about it. But the trouble God's talking about is the pressure coming to the righteous to the devil's going to try to persuade them to deny Jesus. And that's, that's a major test that we're all going to uh, be facing. So the connection in part one is all connected by a time, times, and half a time. We also see Revelation 13, the war against the saints in Revelation 13. Even though a time, times, and half a time is not mentioned, we know that that 42-month period, we're going to connect that later. We know that the war against the saints in Revelation 13 has to connect to the time, time, and half a time, which will make, we'll make that connection. But we already see the war. So the war connects it already. Even though the, the term time and half times is not in there, it's still connected to the same war. And that's all we've done so far. We've really only connected these chapters to the war against the saints and the term times, times, and half a time. And we, we threw in Revelation 13 because that's going to springboard us into the other terms. This concludes part one. We've made the first connection of four connections. Here's the connections again. This is what we've done already. We've, we've learned about a time, times, and half a time and a war against the saints. And we've learned about the Old Testament book of Daniel that talks about this great time of trouble. And we've seen where it connects in the book of Revelation, this great time of trouble. The same war against the saints Daniel talks about is the same war against the saints John is revealing to us in the chapters of Revelation. And the term a time, times, and half a time is the same for both the old and new prophecies. We will get into part two next week. We're in the Amazon jungle thickness uh, of the rainforest here in the, in the book of Revelation, uh, for lack of better metaphors. Uh, the analogy is, uh, you know, we're in the, the thick, thick brush here. And this is, this is, it don't get more complicated than this. Can I get an amen if you're with me? I mean, if you want the most complicated part of the book of Revelation, you're in it, baby. <laughs> you're in it. Okay. <laughs> it don't get more complicated than this. If you're even kind of comprehending this, like I, I think I'm kind of getting it, I think that's the grace of God right now. I mean, that's the grace of God right now. So.